Good afternoon. At this time, I would like to welcome our seniors, Griffin Boynton, Owen Clark, Luke Davies, Hannah Egan, Robert Gianelli, Lauren McSweeney, Olivia Merritt, Samuel Page, Paul Rogers, and Sarah Tui to the stage for the national anthem. Thank you, we will miss those senior voices. Now we would like to welcome the President of Student Council, Bree Stefan, to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bray. At this time, I would like to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Elizabeth Zielinski. I would also like to wish Dr. Zielinski the best in her future endeavors. This is the last time that she'll address a KP class, and we're sad to see her go. We welcome Dr. Elizabeth Zielinski, Superintendent of Schools. Good afternoon, everyone. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, godparents, dignitaries from the towns of Rentham, Plainville and Norfolk, our illustrious and well-trained faculty from King Philip Regional, and the class of 2018. <laughs> Soon you are going to walk across this stage 
and be graduates of King Philip. To get here was actually a 13-year journey. I include kindergarten in that. Some of you, all of you, throughout your time in our district and in the prior elementary district, had someone that was either standing behind you, pushing you a little forward, or holding you back a little bit, standing next to you shoulder by shoulder, or in some cases was dragging you forward by your hand. I think your parents all have fond memories of every single one of those situations. <laughs> but today, when you cross this stage, you are now going off onto a new journey, a journey that's past your secondary education, a journey where those decisions are decisions that you are going to make. You will be exercising your right, not only as a graduate of King Philip, but your right as a United States citizen. And your voice will count. Whether that voice is on a college campus where you take action, become a participant, or just sit back. Your voice as you may enter the world of work where you are going to become part of a team, a collaborative team, wherever that leads you, or your voice as you venture off into the military service. You are young adults, you are young Americans, and your voice counts. Don't let your voice be silenced. I congratulate you on this day of entering a new discovery time in your life. And I heartfully congratulate all you parents because you actually made it this far. And that is a journey for you and now a future journey for your children. Congratulations, class of 2018. And parents, congratulations for your hard-earned work because you deserve the congratulations for getting your students here for this moment today. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Zielinski. Now will we receive a greeting from the chairperson of the King Philip Regional School Committee, Mr. Michael G. Thank you, Dr. Mobley, and I too would wanna thank uh, Dr. Liz for her eight years of service to the district. In many tangible ways, you're leaving us better than you found us. And on behalf of all of us, thank you very much. Another round of appreciation, thank you. Good afternoon, colleagues, faculty, administrators, distinguished guests, parents, families, and loved ones, and most of all, members of the class of 2018. On behalf of the King, the King Philip Regional School Committee, I proudly welcome you to the 61st commencement exercises of King Philip Regional High School. It was actually 60 years ago this month, June 18th, 1958, that King Philip held its first graduation ceremony as a new high school and a new school district. The 72 graduating members of the class in 1958 had only been together at KP since October of their senior year. And by the way, there were no Biffs in the class of 1958, but there were a couple of Reds, a Bud, a Chick, and a Skin. In the years leading up to this, students from Norfolk, which was then the smallest town, had been attending Walpole High, and Plainville and Rentham students had attended their respective high schools. Due to, due to the delayed start, it appears, the football team did not play a schedule, and the field hockey team only played one game, tying Walpole one to one. But KP did field boys and girls basketball, boys hockey, track, baseball, and softball teams, and a cheerleading squad. They also staged at least one play and published a yearbook, cheap in 1958. A legacy was born. So what strikes me about looking at back at this class is the role students had in making this legacy. In the Chieftain Yearbook, and, and this is called Analyzing a Primary Source, it notes that a planning committee of future students from each of the towns had met over the previous year to choose, quote, the school colors, a school ring, and make other important decisions concerning school affairs. Now, I can only imagine the enormous effort planning and political will in the towns to create a new district and the expertise and effort of the new administration and faculty to make it a school. 
but it was the students themselves who made KP a community. This is what you have in common with the class of 1958 and with every class since. A unique and defining characteristic of KP is that you come together at middle school for the first time and experience both a new learning and social adventure together in, as they say, your formative years. Six or so years ago, you met new people, built new bonds, and formed a new community. Now, what that meant for your parental units is that they learned every square mile of the Tri-Town, from Pondville to Sheldonville, from 115 to 1A, from Uno's to Omega, from Dunkin' Donuts to Dunkin' Donuts. But despite, or because of the miles, what I have experienced as a KP parent and see on an ongoing basis as an interested observer is that the sense of community that develops is considerable. I see it in teams, ensembles, and clubs that succeed together, give back, and pay forward in KP Cares, Leo Club, DECA projects, and numerous other service initiatives, and in a whole community rallying around a teacher in need. The strong sense of community is something you will carry forward into life. What I am referring to is not just the friendships and camaraderie, the future nostalgia that can be captured in a yearbook or on Instagram, though that's important, but I'm thinking of community-mindedness as an essential attribute and community building as a critical skill. A King Philip education has hopefully given you academic tools, exposure to new ideas, the ability to think critically, fostering your creativity, sparking a flame of interest to help you find your path. The King Philip experience, perspectives, collaboration, adaptation will enable you to enrich it along the way. I encourage you more than anything else to engage as citizens and at a very concrete level to exercise your right to vote. Apply your community building skills to whatever local community you end up inhabiting and to our national and global communities as well. Make the KP difference the KP legacy. The last time I had the privilege of standing on this platform was four years ago when two of my children were graduating from King Philip. Over the last few weeks, I've had the pleasure of attending their college graduations a pleasure that was a mixture of paternal pride and financial relief. This brings back the many mixed emotions, celebratory and poignant, I am sure you are feeling today. Parents, I will say from experience, that you do gradually give up wondering what the heck they are up to at any given moment, though some habits die hard. And dear graduates, speaking for all of us, you can certainly feel free to give us a call sometimes. We would love that. And to this group of athletes, actors, artists, musicians, writers, researchers, scholars, producers, marketers, presenters, activists, volunteers, leaders, organizers, supporters, friends, classmates, a few, mo few moments from now you will become alumni. As you go forth from this time and place, carry forward the spirit of openness to opportunity, to new experiences, and to the new people you encounter. Carry forward your community-oriented focus and commitment to service and carry it proudly, you've earned it. Thank you, Mr. G. We're now going to pause a moment to listen to our wonderful band play America the Beautiful for us.
Thank you. You may be seated. Amazing. Thank you. So we are going to do things a little differently this year. Right now, I would like to ask two seniors to stand for a special recognition. Could I have Emma Powers and Colin Glasser stand, please? They didn't know this was happening. But Emma and Colin are the first the first to achieve distinction in their pathway. Emma is earning distinction in the humanities and Colin is earning distinction in STEM. Emma developed the visualization project in order to assist children in developing their own images as inspired by the reading of books. She read a story to children and instead of showing them pictures, she had them create their own pictures. Emma took her results and then created a website that explains her project and how parents and teachers could use this process with their own children. These students were asked to do an independent project that affects their community in one way or another to then present their project to a panel in the same way that you must present your doctoral dissertation. And the panel then votes whether or not to award distinction. Emma receives distinction. Colin worked with naturalists at Stony Brook Audubon S Sanctuary and created a canvas poster that is now hanging in the community room at the sanctuary. He identified several endangered species, species that might likely be found in the area. He created a QR code that can be used to report findings of any of these species to the National Heritage and Endangered Species Program website. This data is critical in the efforts to monitor these species. Like Emma, he did his research, he presented, and he was awarded distinction in STEM. So a round of applause for these two seniors. Thank you guys, you may sit down. So good afternoon families, members of the King Philip Regional School Committee, and faculty. And you should note that we have faculty from the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school marching with us today. And it's a true honor to have them all here. Honored guests, Representative Dooley, honored guests, Mrs. Meyer and Ms. Frey, advisors of the class of 2018, and of course, the class of 2018. Welcome to, as Mr. G said, the 61st King Philip Regional High School Commencement Exercises. I would like to take a few minutes before introducing our honored guest speaker to talk to you about having the spirit of a warrior. I mentioned it at awards night. The Miriam Dictionary defines warrior as a person engaged in a struggle or conflict, and dictionary.com a brave and strong fighter. I've been your principal for all four years of high school, which allows me the ability to state that the class of 2018 has the spirit of a warrior. You are brave, strong fighters who have faced things that other classes have not. You've engaged in your own personal struggles, you've worked collectively to ensure fairness and equity for your classmates. Each one of you has done more than the classes before you. But the struggles that we have faced together, working them out and working together have what truly warmed my heart. A typical struggle for a young adult is having a voice. Dr. Zielinski actually mentioned that. But most young people think having a voice is talking louder than someone else or being destructive. This class, those two things never crossed their mind. Having a voice meant taking actionable steps to make our community better. You epitomize that and you deserve my gratitude and my applause and the applause from all your faculty and administration. So we're gonna give you that round of applause. You created a focus each month to better our culture. One month was kindness and another integrity, and it went on and on for each month with a focus. Out of your voices, the Diversity Club, advised by Mr. Grover, was born, and it was created to focus on inclusion. And you'll be hosting your first event after you graduate on Friday the 14th called Outside Voices, and we are really looking forward to that. 
So your legacy at King Philip lives on. Finally, the year-end choices you made demonstrated your respect for your teachers and the underclassmen. You modeled the spirit of a warrior, warrior all year long, and our King Philip community is better for it. So I end with a heartfelt thank you to the class of 2018. You amazed and impressed like no other class in my history, and you'll go on to do great things with your spirit. Congratulations. So this year we're going to have our honored guest speaker speak at this moment instead of the end. And our honored guest speaker has become a, was, became a member of KP in 2003 when she joined the KP coming from industry. Over the years, she's taught all types of learners from ECP to AP. She has led national organizations of biology teachers, and she was able to bring back knowledge, innovation, and of course, supplies to KP. When I met her, she was advising the senior class with her partner in crime, Ms. Frey. And some of those seniors are here to watch you speak today. So a few seniors that are here from 2014, want to stand up and give a little yell right now, go right ahead. I saw you, there they go, they're quiet. <laughs> no yell, but they're here. She's been an inspiration to me and to so many other students sitting before us. Please welcome senior class co-advisor, biology teacher extraordinaire, and almost, but not quite retired, Mrs. Lorene Meyer. biggest fear was coming up those steps but adding to my injuries. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the class of 2018's commencement ceremony. Congratulations to you and your families. Today we celebrate both endings and beginnings. We have our traditions surrounding graduation, pomp and circumstances played, scratchy sweaty robes are worn, and mortarboards will be tossed in the air. The celebration of landmark traditions can be found in many aspects of our cultures. Endings will be followed by beginnings throughout our lives and marked by traditions. The tradition of summer camps are ingrained in me. Campfires, s'mores, and sing-alongs mark the end of each session and each season. About 30 years ago, Frank Sherman's poem, Joy, was set to music and the campers and staff at Green Area added a second verse. This song became the pomp and circumstance of the closing campfires in my life. Now don't panic, I am not singing. That would clear this place faster than you can clear the parking lot on Fridays with last block senior privileges. But I am gonna share the words with you. It is my joy in life to find at every turning of the road, the strong arm of a comrade kind to help me onward with my load. And since I have no gold to give, and love alone must make amends, my only prayer is while I live, God make me worthy of my friends. Our time goes on, we've learned and cared along this awesome way. The good times and the bad we've shared are yours and mine forever and a day. And when our paths no longer touch, as close as they do today, Remember, I still love you much. My life you've shared in a special way. For me, these lyrics are analogous to the past four years that we have shared. We first gathered as a high school class on September 3rd, 2014, where you voted to have pink as your class color. What were you thinking? <laughs> but pink became our signature color and blazed our trail. Your senior video reminded me of just how young you all were. Giggly, gangly teens, nervous, excited, and let's be truthful, immature. Today, we gather as a class for the final time. And what sits before me are men and women who are confident, excited, probably a little bit nervous, and if a beach ball comes out, still immature. As you look around the room, you most likely will recognize all of the members of your class. In that recognition, you might come to realize that there are classmates that you never connected with in a very meaningful way. There are those that you never took a class with, 
never had a real conversation with, and never really got to know. Perhaps the opportunity did not present itself, and now that window of opportunity is closing, and there is a bittersweet sadness in that. Time moved so very quickly. Your paths to today were very different. Some of you took the black diamond trails that challenged you at every step. It was a difficult trail. It required concentration, dedication, and sacrifice. Summits offered magnificent views of what was to come. Some took the green triangle trails with many challenges, but plenty of opportunities for rest and recreation. Grassy knolls offered respite. Those on the yellow square trails had gentle slopes allowing for new skills and strategies to be learned before striking out on your final trail to today. And still others hit the loop trail and were confused as to why everything looked so familiar until you recognized that you needed to take a right at the fork in the road instead of a left. The truth is, the path to, that you took to today doesn't really matter. What matters is that you made it. You are here. You are getting your diploma. And that opens the gateway to the next trail in your life. Along the way, your paths intersected when it really mattered. You have demonstrated care and concern by your actions in support of classmates, teachers, members of the community, a school full of children, and many social causes. You celebrated wins and mourned the losses. You have shared good times and sad times. You have cared, loved, laughed, and learned. And you have made many memories. And you will cherish those memories forever and a day. And we all have had those moments, those mistakes, those regrets that we give a final nod to and then put them in the past. Matito, Leonard, Gracias. I have been very fortunate to travel this path with you. I have had the strength and company of an amazing officer team. Lauren, Dougal, Alexa, and Riley, as well as Tyler freshman year. They put in countless hours to organize fundraisers and class events for all of you. My comrade in kind, my co, my friend, April Frey, shared this journey with us, putting in hours of effort sharing her many talents, and most of all, her love. Brazy, 09 and 14 and are in the books, and 18 is soon to join them. It has been my joy. And now we transition to a new trailhead, the trail named Adulting. Adulting is hard. The trails are not marked. They can be muddy or steep. They can go through meadow, meadows or rocky terrain. There is no one destination, and it is a lifelong journey. About a month ago, Mr. Christie asked me what I was going to do when I hit the trail of retirement. What was my plan? This puzzled me. I didn't know I needed a plan. I hadn't thought about making a plan. He then asked me if I would ever consider writing a book. OK, that was an interesting thought. Why not? So let me share with you the outline for Meyer's rule book for the adulting trail. And there's no surprise to anybody that this is a rule book. Chapter one, wear bug spray. Along life's trail, you will encounter many insects that will try and ruin your day with their irritating bites, stinging comments, loud, angry, buzzing, and general nastiness. Wear your bug spray. Keep these pests out of your personal space. Chapter two, don't forget the candy. We all need sweetness in our lives. Take time for you. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Share your candy. A little sweetness makes for um, a very nice journey. Chapter three, carry a walking stick. This essential tool can support you when the road gets rough. It can beat back the bramble that trips you up and then steady you while you regain your footing. It can be a leaning post while you take a break and rest. Chapter four, carry in, carry out. Anthony Bourdain wrote, travel isn't always pretty. It isn't always comfortable. 
Sometimes it hurts. It even breaks your heart. But that's okay. The journey changes you. It should change you. It leaves marks on your memory, on your consciousness, on your heart, and on your body. You take something with you. Hopefully, you leave something good behind. Chapter 5, use the buddy system. Make friends. You have their back. They'll have your back. And there is nothing in life better than having a bestie that you can share your hopes, dreams, disappointments, accomplishments, and celebrations with. You may not see or talk to them every day or even every month, but they are always there for you, and you are always there for them. Chapter 6, don't forget the matches. Fire can warm you. It can light the way. It can comfort you in the dark. Ignite the fire within you. Use your passion to move you down the trail and live your dream. Chapter 7, there's only 10. Embrace the silence. When you are surrounded by noise and find that the noise of others is clouding your sense of direction and you cannot connect with your true self, embrace the silence. Disconnect, break away, breathe, and listen to your heart. Reconnect with your spirit. Rest. Chapter 8, where's your compass? Develop a moral compass and use it to keep you on the straight and narrow before speaking, tweeting, Snapchatting, or using any form of social media yet to be developed or your parents have discovered, ask yourself three questions. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? If you answer no to any one of these questions, keep quiet. Don't morph into an insect. Chapter 9, keep a logbook. What worked? What didn't? What could you do differently? Learn from mistakes. Not your, uh, note your successes. Remember the kindnesses of others. And don't repeat the wrongs against you against someone else. Write your own story. Chapter 10, sing your song. Maya Angelou said, a bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. What is your song? What do you stand for? Your song will keep you company along the way. Class of 2018, you have been a big part of my story, and I thank you for that. In closing, I'm going to share with you another lyric. This is the, um, the ending lyric from my final summer camp, and it went like this. And as the years roll by, I'll think of you inside. This is good night and not goodbye. Safe Travels 2018. We're almost there. So now I would like to call up a special young lady. She is the president of your class, Lauren McSweeney, president of the class of 2018, to give her senior speech. Lauren. Class of 2018, we have made it through Gangnam Style, the Harlem Shake, Flappy Bird's removal from the App Store, Yik Yak, the end of Vine, three presidents, silly bands, and fidget spinners. We have seen three royal weddings, Michael Phelps win 28 Olympic medals, Pluto no longer being a planet, and the Patriots win their fifth Super Bowl. We have even managed to add new words to our vocabulary with words such as sieve and boolin. <laughs> yet above all these things, we're here today to commemorate our biggest accomplishment yet. We did it. We made it through numerous graded discussions, difficult math exams, the SATs, MCAS, and procrastinated on our last reading notes assignment. It feels like just yesterday we were going to dare camp, meeting people from other towns. Just yesterday we were freshmen. Just yesterday we were taking driver's ed classes. This is the end of an era. Our lives have led up to the day where we will move on from high school and on to the next chapter. I know that we are ready. I just hope that the world is ready for us. 
Although that day has, qu has come quicker than anticipated, we are prepared and we have our families, teachers, and mentors to thank for that. Thank you to my parents and all the other incredible families here today. Behind all of our success is the love and support from you all. Thank you to my remarkable sisters for being both role models and built-in best friends. Thank you to the amazing teachers and administration at King Philip that have taught us countless lessons and to Dr. Mobley for taking a chance on your students and giving them a voice about something that may be greater than ourselves. And of course, for catering Moe's. From Mr. Grover's obsession with Baroque wigs to Ms. Costello's homeroom donuts, we will miss you all and hope to follow your example of dedication in the future. Class of 2018, this is not the end, it is only the beginning. In just a few short years, our lives will no longer be graded on a 4.0 scale. I hope that you will continue to manifest the characteristics of a warrior throughout your lives. Learn from your mistakes, persevere, aim high, set goals, take risks, do what you love, and lastly, please put your phone down every once in a while and enjoy the moment. We spend so much time trying to perfect an image on social media that we often forget who we really are. You are not defined by the amount of likes you receive on a photo. I encourage everyone, including myself, to go out and see the world through your eyes and not through the lens of your camera. No one on their deathbed thinks, thank God I spent so much time on Instagram. Class of 2018, we are the future. The person sitting next to you could find the cure for cancer and the person in front of you could be the next Kim Kardashian. But whatever you choose to do with your one and precious life, make it count. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you how to be happy or give you some unrealistic advice because the truth is I have no clue. Philosophers and psychologists have studied the human endeavor of happiness and still can't even find a perfect answer. But one thing that I have learned is that sometimes things just don't work out. You can spend hours studying for a test and still fail. But when we are faced with these inevitable failures, we will rise to the occasion and come out even stronger. Even J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter was rejected 12 times before being published and becoming an international phenomenon. Thank you, class of 2018, for four incredible years. Thank you for 32 tardies junior year, for the morning trips to Dunkin' Donuts, and for chanting, you're hurt, start the buses, Ivy League, or let Bly fly at Friday night football games. Thank you for leading me to my best friends, for cheering me on when I came in last place at the track meets, and even for the traffic at the end of the school day. Although the fads may change, the memories associated with them never fade. These past few months, I've been dreading saying goodbye to you all. To say goodbye to Robert's handstands in the chorus room, to the Acapulco trips with Jeff, days on the lake with Mary, and Abuelita's rice at Adan and Julian's. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to say good luck on your next adventure and share a few wise words from Hannah Montana. You can change your hair and you can change your clothes. You can change your mind, that's just the way it goes, but you'll always find your way back home. Thank you. <laughs> So at this time, we have some special recognitions. Uh, please stand so that you can be recognized. We have our senior class officers, Lauren McSweeney, President, Jugal Singh, Vice President, Riley McGain, Secretary, Alexa Canning, Treasurer. We have our two four-year members of school council, Andrew Dittrich and Izzy Agricola. Thank you for your service on council. We have our student council president, Bree Stefani. Bree, thank you for all you did for our culture. And then we have our students who have decided to enter the military. Jared Castillo, Seamus McManus, Ethan Rolfe, and Rohan Bartholomew. Thank you. I'm going to ask students, because you're still students until we hand you that piece of paper, Nick Simmons to come up and assist me with this next presentation. Nick, could you come and help me?
Six years ago, I began the King Philip Teacher of the Year program to recognize and honor te teachers that made a difference in the lives of their students. Each year, the members of the senior class vote for a Teacher of the Year. I would like to take a minute or two to help everyone understand why the class of 2018 has chosen this person. Using her own words while she was hospitalized, her philosophy on teaching. She says, teachers change lives. Teachers build our society. Hardly anyone that is an active contributor to society has not been through school. From learning how to read to doing advanced calculus, we, meaning teachers, shape America and its workforce. We are important and we need to remember that even when others do not, we are important. People easily forget that they went through 12 or more years of school that helped them become what they are today. I have unfortunately been hospitalized since March and my son since his birth. I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, but every one of these people that have touched and saved our lives had teachers. That has become so clear to me while hospitalized that we as teachers help to grow every single profession. Since they know that I am a teacher and this is a teaching hospital, hospital, they have utilized me to meet with residents and medical students to help them learn. And I've been so happy to do that because I get to keep teaching. Even the best, most experienced doctors in this hospital have told me they have learned from me and my case. We are all lifelong learners. On one of the rare occasions I was allowed to be wheeled outside, a young woman came up to me as she was leaving the hospital. It was a former student of mine. She had heard I was in the hospital and was hoping she would run into me. She is now doing research in one of the fields that my case is connected to while applying to medical school. You never know how your students will impact the world, your world, our world, or how students shape the future. Those are the words of Ms. McCann Black, and that is the reason the class of 2018 chose her as Teacher of the Year, and we are fortunate to have her with us today. Please come on up. We have two more very important people to hear from before we begin with our diploma presentation. I'd like to invite Bethany Murphy up to the podium to give her salutatory address right now. Bethany. Good afternoon, administrators, teachers, families, friends, the King Philip Band, and fellow members of the graduating class. Today is finally the day we have been waiting our entire educational careers to experience, Sunday. <laughs> also, the King Philip Class of 2018 graduation ceremony. Congratulations, we made it. It has been a long and exhausting journey, but I'm proud I shared it with you all. On behalf of my class, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the people who helped us on this journey. To all the teachers, administrators, and people who, um, families, thank you for guiding us through our metamorphosis from childhood to adolescence to adulthood, pushing us to discover our hidden talents and filling us with optimism and determination. Also, thanks for teaching us a plethora of life lessons we did not always enjoy learning. I personally like to thank my parents and my brother Sean for being my rock throughout all these years and supporting me to achieve my potential despite any setbacks. As a member of the band, I attended graduation for the past few years. I never imagined that one day I'd be up on the stage addressing my class. Even last Sunday, I didn't know in a week I would have to speak today and provide some wisdom about the future, as if I'm a time traveler who already knows the proper way to face the unknown world of reality. 
However, I can reflect on our past years at KP. Our memories are dynamic and filled with loud, crowded hallways, stands filled with cheering fans, and auditoriums of applause. Regardless of our personal experiences, through the good and bad, high school has been a time of our lives where we became unique individuals with precious memories we will cherish forever. Although most of us have been counting down the days until we cross the threshold into a new phase of life, what exists in the beyond may be daunting. The real world is something we have yet to fully experience. In high school, if you fail a test, you could just brush it off or even do extra credit. Failure in the real world can't always be brushed off easily in the same way. The freedom of the real world comes with responsibility, but I dare you to put passion before fear. When my cousin was young, he told my grandpa that he was scared of bears. My grandpa told him not to fear. If he ever found himself face to face with a bear, simply reach his hand down its throat and pull it by its tail. Turn that scoundrel inside out. So class of 2018, if you're ever faced with a challenge, turn it inside out. You possess more power than you know. Although life may be intimidating, is a chance for us to venture into the unknown, to reach for whatever we are passionate about, and to fill in the blank however we choose. Your voice is strong enough to be heard, so speak out. You have the opportunity to make an impact in whatever you choose to do, so take it. We no longer have to obey the sound of the bell to tell us when to move, or eat lunch at 1041 in the morning. We are free to move in the direction that brings us closer to our hopes and eat lunch at a reasonable time. To conclude my speech, I want to say some wise words for my class to always remember. After sifting through multiple inspirational quotes and reading passionate speeches by speakers at graduation ceremonies, I finally found a speech perfect for this occasion. As enlightened speaker Troy Bolton said at his high school graduation in High School Musical 3, high school is a place where teachers encourage us to break the status quo and define ourselves as we choose, where a jock can cup up a mean creme brulee and a brainiac can rake it down on the dance floor. It's a place where one person, if it's the right person, changes us all. This place is where we made friends we'll keep for the rest of our lives, and that means we really are all in this together. Once a warrior, always a warrior. Thank you, King Philip Class of 2018, for making these four years of high school unforgettable and giving me memories to treasure forever. I wish you the best of luck in your future plans and hope you tackle any speed bump that comes your way or just drive around them like you did in the KP parking lot. <laughs> Congratulations on this momentous accomplishment. And now, Jeff, it's your turn. I would like to invite Jeffrey Yatsuhashi to the podium to give his valedictory address. Mangria. It's the first day of seventh grade. Three towns are suddenly thrown together, and the students are told that they have to become friends and work together for the next six years. People are nervous, isolated, and lost in a new school within a mix of unknown faces. That's both the beauty and struggle of living in a regional school district. You're forced to come out of your shell and make new friendships with people you otherwise never would have known. People are on edge. They're unsure of themselves, unsure of others, and unsure of how to adapt. The Norfolk kids want to be on one side, the Rentham kids on another, and the Plainville kids on yet another. And at first, it seems like mixing the three towns is a huge mistake. But now, looking back, we know that it's the greatest thing KP ever offered us. With teachers and coaches that pushed us to work hard and become better people, the KP School District has been an incredible home for the past six years. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the educators, parents, administrators, coaches, and class officers who made this experience possible, and especially Mrs. Rowe, who set the whole graduation up and has been so supportive to everyone. <laughs> Not everything was sunshine and roses throughout the last four years. We've all felt the stress of homework, social anxiety, and about 50 English essays too many. We've all suffered through graded discussions and tests that we unfortunately forgot about until homeroom the day of. However, by coming together as a family, the class of 2018 has been able to accomplish incredible things. Who will forget the morning announcements every Friday from our award-winning TV program in Izzy Agricola? Who will forget KP Decker bringing home glass trophies year in and year out? 
Who will forget the dominance of the KP band in sports teams? Who will forget when Joey Cab dropped the two hottest tracks the Tri-Town has ever seen? Yeah. And who will forget when the football squad raised a title trophy in 2016 and again in 2017? All these memories, oh yeah? All these memories, these moments, have come to define the hardworking, high-achieving character of our class. We've been able to reach so many goals together, and I know that the inner drive fueling all of us will push us to even greater accomplishments in the future. But high school has been about more than just winning games and awards. Despite these awesome achievements, many of us will cherish the little things even more, like going to Nikki's or ice cream machine on a warm summer night, relaxing with teammates on a Saturday after practice, taking a boat out on the lake, or getting out of class early because some hero clogged the toilet with a t-shirt. <laughs> because at the end of the day, more important than the grades or the accomplishments are the friendships we've made with each other. A trophy collects dust, and a transcript really doesn't mean anything once you've gotten into college. But I know that I'll never forget going to Acapulco's with Lauren, crying with my brothers after the Super Bowl, hanging out with the neighborhood crew, or just kicking it back and watching college football on a Saturday night. So why am I telling you all this? I'm not just here to reflect on high school and memories and whatnot. I'm reliving these things with you today because these friends and these moments have been central in shaping who we are. While this chapter of our lives is ending and the next one beginning, we can never forget where we came from and the people around us who made us who we are. In the coming months, from San Diego State to UMaine to the armed forces to distinctive creations, the class of 2018 will truly spread its wings and start to make a real difference in the world. But while we branch off and go our separate ways, we should always remember the memories and experiences from KP that shaped us and always know that we can count on each other for support and advice even if we're miles apart. All this being said, I'd like to conclude the speech by saying thank you to all of you. Thank you for making the last four years unforgettable. Thank you for being there through the good and the bad. Thank you for being the best friends that I've ever had. Whether it was staying up late working on a project, taking prom pictures, raising a state championship trophy, chanting out Mr. Brightside, running all night longer, or watching the sunset over Lake Archer, I know that the memories and experiences that we've had together will stay with us for the rest of our lives. And I'd like to end with a quote from the great Winnie the Pooh, and just say, how lucky are we to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you guys, it's been real. Thank you, Jeffrey. We have one last presentation, and that is the presentation of the King Philip Cup. The awarding of the King Philip Cup is a long-standing tradition at King Philip. The cup is awarded to the student of the, in the senior class who represents scholarship, is a visible leader in our community, and takes an active role in embracing the spirit and culture of King Philip. This year's King Philip Cup is presented to Alexa Canning. So now on to the good stuff. I'm going to ask Mr. Christie, Mr. Lewis, and Ms. Dunn to come on up and, as Mr. Keo would say, do a little set change around here, and then we're going to get going with the presentations of the diplomas.
Okay, class marshals, are we ready? We are ready. Do your thing. Lauren Alyssa McSweeney. We're going to ask you to hold your applause till we're finished with one side, then we'll celebrate one. Sorry. Jugal Sandeep Singh. Riley Mary McGain. Alexa Grace Canning. Isabel Rose Agricola. Andrew Ware Dittrich. Gabrielle Jensen Stefani. Jeffrey Mason Yatsuhashi. Lynn Murphy. Madeline Alexandria Crago. Olivia Marie Olson. Brendan Michael Clark. Nathaniel Robert Holmes. Molly Catherine Mullen. Rebecca Elizabeth Epstein. Caitlin McTurnan Aaron. Kaylee Shea Abbott. Benjamin Michael Abrams. Nicholas William Abrell. Nathan Nelson Ackle. Pearl Wamaka Afumefuna. Jacob Jonathan Anderson. Ryan William Anderson. Shelby Nicole Tara Anderson. Filaretta Andoni, Daniel Sebastian Andrews, Aiden Angeloni, Gianna Teresa Andrami, Daniel Lee Antunes, Emily Collinge Atkinson. Rachel Alexandra Baker. <laughs> Hannah Minerva Villaranda Balunos. <laughs> Kieran Patrick Bannon. Lucy Fitzpatrick Barnard. Zainab Sharifa Berry. <laughs> Rohan Ernest Bathelmi. Julia Marie Beatty. Kelly Virginia Bechet. Jonathan George Blaisdell. Sean Philip Blake. Riley Alexander Blundell Strulia. Jessica Diane Bonner. Jamie Michelle Buffard. Griffin Wilson Boynton. Adon Bracamondes. Nolan Earl Bradley. Nicholas James Brewster. Kelsey Joe Brothers. Andrew Joseph Buckley, Harrison Hill Burke, Jack Rivers Bush, yeah. Natalie Rose Kelly, yeah. Paris Anthony Calzaretta da Costa, yeah. Abigail Gwendolyn Campbell, Deirdre Ann. Cannon, Kyla Lynn 
Caparella. Nicole Elizabeth Carter. Rachel Jane Casey. Jared Edward Castillo. Joseph Dominic Cavallari. William John Cavanaugh. Krista Regalis Chipkowskis. Rebecca Shadia Chikoy. Owen McKay Clark. Elizabeth Rose Clifford. Kevin Francis Clifford. Ma Matthew Joseph Coletta. Thea Elizabeth Conlin. Melina Catherine Connolly. William John Connor. Benjamin Thomas Consolas. Michael Hamilton Conti. Colin Patrick Cook. Elizabeth Ann Cooley. Emma Grace Corcoran. Sarah Lucia Cordero. Mitchell James Cormier. Lindsay Evelyn Coughlin. Olivia Kathleen Coughlin. Jonathan Andre Canoyer. Ryan Gerald Kroll. Leah ba Bailey Crowley. Catherine Elizabeth Crowther. Michael James Curtin. Nicole Ann Zarnowski. Mackenzie Sarah Daly. Jessica Lynn Daniels. Tyler Matthew Darling. Alessandro Pina De Vega. Luke Anthony Davies. Hayden Pierce Davis. Pharaoh Xavier Davis. David Michael DiGidio. Michael Patrick DeLuca. Max M.L. Denzikert. Victoria Jean Desmond. Sean Salvatore DeRocher. Melanie Erin Devine. Samantha Claire DeWitt. Clara Morgan Dionis. Mary Ellen Elizabeth Dubois. Kevin William Duduck. Elizabeth Dorothy Dunford. Erin Francis Dunford. Emma Grace Durant. Mackenzie Caroline Dyke. Hannah. Grace Egan, Luke Henry Eldridge, Alex Sullivan Elias, Jeremy Soul Elpis, Tate, I'm sorry. My fault. We'll catch up and we'll give you a good run for it. So now, Tate Andrew Duffy.
Victoria Lynn Ely. Chioma Ivy Izuma Ungu. Gregory Paul Fayela. Now y'all made me really nervous. Rose Teresa Fitzgerald. Alexandra Maya Flaherty. Ryan Michael Flanagan. Caitlin Marie Foley. Zachary Connor Forsyth. Nicholas William Fox. Nolan James Fox. Matthew Ernest Franz. Shane Robert Frommer. Joseph Michael Frucci. Benjamin Anthony Ferfari. Connor Warren Fritz. Elizabeth Rose Ferfari. Andrew Miller Gelsomini. Kaylin Jean Genowitz. Robert Daniel Gianelli. Colin Jeffrey Glasser. Caitlin Elizabeth Gonzer. Jacqueline Elizabeth Gorman. Matthew James Gorman. Meredith Kirk Green. Elizabeth Moon Green. John Richard Grow, Andrew Michael Garino, Marjorie Garrier, Elizabeth Hall, Connor James Halliday, Nathaniel Orion Hanshi. Christina Elizabeth Hathaway. Joshua Ryan Herzerschen. Kyla Victoria Headley. Daniel Michael Hedberg. Francesca May Hine. Lily Morgan Heslin, Matthew William Heyer, Samantha Jean Higgins, Jared Christian Hughes, Shane Joseph Hurley, Aiden Tagore Ignatius, Nicholas Charles Eiley. Sean Patrick Ireland. Sarah Elizabeth Johnson. Ben Joquin. Sarah Elizabeth Urizma. Philip Arthur Kelvling. Natalie Rose Kanya. Sarah Allison Confer. Sydney Alessandra Keen. Allison Lydia 
Keene. Catherine Elizabeth Kenyon. Nicholas Levi Kerr. Jack William Kevel. Larson Andrew Keyes. And that is the first half of the class of 2018. Brendan Alexander King. Jenna Elizabeth Klobuchar. Cameron Craig Cook. Haley Michelle Konezhny. Mary Grace Lenore Kopis. Allison Lane Cucci. Brianna Lynn Lacey. Aiden Joseph Lawler. Nadia Francis Lawrence. Charles Joseph Leary. Dylan Joseph Leonard. Nicholas Scott Lieberthal. Patrick James Limerick. Adam Michael Latito. Thomas Case Lugton. Connor Andrew Lutz. Brendan Michael Leiden. Chessa Elizabeth McKenzie. Ryan Jared McKenzie. Alexis Marie Maycumber. Thomas Richard Madden. Jake Davis McGuire. Jake Joseph Malatesta. Jillian Conley Maloney. Kaylee Marie Mannion. Tyler Clark Mann. Cole Pierce Manning. Chloe Hart Manzi. Rachel Corbett Martin. Alessandro Michele Martini. Chanel Yolanda Massady. Julian Connors Masserone. Courtney Marie Massey. Olivia Rose Mather. Gavin David Maxwell. Samuel West May. Kevin Edward McCarthy Jr. Olivia Rose McCarthy. Hannah Elizabeth McCarthy. Haley Nicole McGaslin. Cassidy Lucinda McDonald. Julia Catherine McAvoy. Abigail Marie McEwen. Danny Thomas McLaughlin, Seamus Henry McManus, Caitlin Rose McNulty, Abigail Miller Melanson, Olivia Sidney Merritt, Grant Mitchell Meyer, Jenna Dawn Madura, 
Nathan Russell Minkwitz. Colton Patrick Moore. Connor Jacob Mullins. Alexia May Mutasio. Sophia Farah Nagar. Samantha Elizabeth Nason. Sonia Rafaela Neville. Nicholas Edward Norgren. Megan Mary Norton. Joseph David O'Keefe. Brooks Robert O'Neill. Stephen Joseph O'Neill. Alec Brian O'Rourke. Connor Fisher O'Rourke. Jared Clark Olaska. Samuel Lincoln Page. Lily Rose Iris Esther Palferman. Michaela Ann Palumbo. Mackenzie Rose Patrick. Maxwell Russell Penner. Elise Catherine Pereira. Jordan Olivia Peterson. Jennifer Marie Petsy. Abigail Grace Pfeffer. Sydney Phillips. Jack Allen Piller. Jessica Lynn Plum. Lauren Nicole Poirier. Hallie Lydon Potts. Emma Rose Powers. Robert Joseph Powers. Hannah Marlene Putney. Cameron John Quadrosi. Christopher David Quateroni. Erin Nas Quinn. Leah Rose Quinn. Talia Ann Quinn. Jake Alexander Ruskowskis. Julianne Elizabeth Rando. Keith William Rankin. Daniel Lewis Ray. Samuel Bowden Ray. Owen Xavier Riley. Kylie Elizabeth Remez. Tyler William Retman. Drew Elizabeth Resendez. Jeffrey Thomas Rhines. Madison Kelly Ritchie. Evan Andrew Rice. Matthew Dean Richards. Keith Michael Robery. Daniel Alexander Robinson. Paul Edward Rogers III. Liam Thomas Rohan. Jonathan Alexander Roldan. Sean Roldan. Ethan Lawrence Rolf. Abby Kissel Rose. Michael Kenneth Rowe. Sarah Aman Saim. Sydney Michael Salvatore. Nicholas Robert Samarco. 
Auk Schover. Thank you. Megan Mary Sepich. Luke Robert Cervello. Madeline Coglin Cervello. Jackson David Schiebler. Kyle David Schufeld. Ali Tariq Sadiki. Hannah Christine Silvestri. Jackson Reed Silvestri. Nicholas Foley Simmons. May Lynn Singer. Nina Lanting Sitarski. Allison Rose Smith. Michael William Snyder. Nicholas Gordon Snyder. Adam John Sorrell. Matthew Joseph Stanton. Jessica Lee Stoffel. Caroline Elizabeth Sullivan. Erin Kathleen Sullivan. Alex Hunter Sorowick. San Sanya Zareen Saida. Jamie Elizabeth Tard Tardinico. Brooke Taudi, Kennedy Taudi. Ryan Daniel Terrio. Shanita Marie Thompson. Brendan Patrick Tibbetts. Chloe Ella Tyner. Samantha <coughs> Brown Trefoil. Jackson Friedrich Troiano. Haley Madison Trudell. Sarah Rose Tui. Christina Elizabeth Tupper. Anthony David Veyu. Peter Jeffrey Veyu. Caitlin Marie Van Roon. Riley Andrew Vavarigos. Rachel Hammond Veyu. Daniel Edward Vieira. Julia Brooke Walsh. Caitlin Grace Ward. Alexandra Mary Welch. Farah Elise Wichard. Jakai Mark Wiggins McLean. Eric Robert Wilson. Charlotte Elsa Young. Hadley Ann Zolak. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2018. They have one last thing which every class must do. So again, I'm going to invite up senior class president alumni, Lauren McSweeney. We did it! Yay! <laughs> All right, you can now move your tassels over to the other side. You are now alumni. Throw them. <laughs> 
So again, congratulations, class of 2018. We'll give you a few seconds to regroup, and then I'll lead the way one more time with you.